This is Jess Williamson and you're watching Zaproot for a Valentine's Day special. Valentine's Day is back, so let's see if we can keep all that love sustainable. In today's show, we'll start off with everything that comes before dinner, and then after the break, we'll do everything that comes after dinner. So here we go. They might be overdone, but who doesn't love flowers? This year, keep the pesticides away and buy organic flowers from organicbouquet.com. Or show her how crafty you are with some handmade cards made by someone else. Everyone loves chocolate, and Amazon has a huge organic selection. Chicks totally dig mixtapes. Try Fave Tape or Open Tape. They're online mixtape creators. Or just use iTunes, you lazy bastard. And if you don't know where to go, for that epic romantic meal, try dyinggreen.com to reserve a table at your local organic restaurant. You can check out eatwellguide.org, localharvest.org, or opentable.com. Or if the conversation gets a little awkward, you can smooth it out with some organic booze. Keep it festive with Diamond Organic Champagne. Or take it in a whole nother direction and get really sourced on Sunshine Vodka, Square One Vodka, or 14 Vodka. Or if vodka's not quite your thing, you can check out all other types of booze at cocktailorganico.com. Keep it cozy with some organic cotton sheets. And if that's not sexy enough for you, stick around till after the break and will get a little more R-rated. Rated R starts Friday, February 13th. So what do you do after the flowers, the cards, the chocolates, and the dinner? Well, why not buy her some sexy eco unmentionables at Animore? Or for more practical people, some green knickers. And now that you're in your undies and feeling a little silly, what better time could there be for sex toys? Check out the AccuVibe Human Touch Massager. Technically, it's not a sex toy. They say it's great for relieving back and neck pain. But in the picture, it's down by her leg. Hmm, that's weird. When you're looking for sex toys, make sure to do your research. There are plenty of rechargeable options like the Rabbit, Girl Toys, and others. But many of these are made from petroleum products and leach things like phthalates, BPA, and hormone disruptors. So do your research, because hormone disruptors, not sexy. Or for your design nuts, check out the Elise vibrator. It gives you what they call a Scandinavian feel. Well, what the f is that? On Amazon, a lot of these devices are called scalp massagers, but if your friend is using this on his scalp, you better sit down with him and have a long talk. Or you can stop being so lazy and generate some of your own motion with some stainless steel or glass toys. Or leave it to the researchers here at Zaproot to find a very rare glass-based vibrator. And if you're not running a one-woman show, or a two-woman show for that matter, keep it safe with vegan condoms. Or check out all natural lubricants from Good Clean Love. You may be thinking to yourself, this is just all natural KY. But let me tell you, it's way beyond KY. It comes in a variety of different fragrances that smell different on different people and smell different in different places. If you want to get her something that accentuates her curves and makes her feel a little naughty in a Victorian type of way, check out mycorset.com. They've got a wide selection of eco-friendly options. But maybe the economic slump has got you a little stumped or maybe you're just not that into her. Hey, we don't judge. So here's some cheap ways to get by on V-Day. Get on Google Maps, find the nearest park and take her on a picnic. It's all about the effort, fellas. It's all about the effort. If you've got an oven, you've got a romance making machine. Bake something. Send her a really cool e-card with geo greetings. It makes messages out of cool shapes found in Google Maps. Or how about this? Replace the messages inside some fortune cookies with your own. It's a pretty cute thing to do. Instructions are in the links. Or just donate in her name to Heifer International, Farm Sanctuary, or the Humane Society. Chicks love this crap. Although Heifer does donate farm animals to people in third world countries for food, as in to eat them. So if she's vegetarian or vegan, it might not be the best choice. Thanks for watching, and remember all the links to our show can be found in our show notes, and get your hanky-panky on at zapbrute.com. Hey YouTube, user you should subscribe the button is right over here seriously this button's all over the place